what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video we're going to be talking about some 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 leaks that came out uh, a couple years back regarding Jupiter creepers 3 that i want to talk about in respect to if this could even be something that would be possible um i don't know if any of you actually followed Jupiter creepers 3 very closely as i did back in 2017 when it started filming and then it was set to come out later that same year in september uh, in theaters for that one night showing uh, but before all of that leaks started coming out we got leaked images uh, something that claimed to be a like just leaks of the story that we would be getting in Jeepers Creepers 3. Uh, basically, the leaks said that uh, we would find out that the Creeper was being controlled by a witch, a witch that is immortal, and the Creeper was ultimately going to be a, a man who wanted to become immortal, and he was a doctor, a wealthy a, a doctor who wanted to become immortal, and then he made a deal with a witch to become immortal, but he never held up, he never held up his end of the deal, uh, because he gave the he gave the witch fake money, so the witch gave him what he wanted. He became immortal, but she had also turned him into the creeper. And every twenty third spring for twenty three days, she's the one that wakes him up, and she's the one that uh, lets him loose in in the world to uh, do these killings. Now, my issue with this is what is what is the witch's right? Because now now we have a bigger issue. Our issue here is no longer the creeper. So I'm glad that that we didn't get this. Our issue here isn't even the creeper anymore. It's the witch. What is what is the witch's problem? What is it that she has against the people in Poho County? What is it that she has against more people than just this man who conned her out of money? Uh, letting him loose every 23rd spring for 23 days. What is that? Yes, that's tormenting him. But what is it about the people in Poho County that they also have to suffer? What did they do to the witch? That's something that would get raised up. And on top of that, if you're if you want to punish him, I, 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 don't, I don't I don't really understand that him him living out the rest of his life immortal as a monster and doing all these things in Poho County. That's not something I really would have been too accept, acceptable of, because to me now I, there's more questions raised to that. What is it that the witch's ultimate game here is with that? What is she? What is the whole purpose of letting him come out every 23rd spring for 23 specific days to let him feed on the inhabitants of the town? What is it about this curse that she gave him that led to him having a taste for human flesh? What is it about this curse that lets him, uh, like just lets him be this under? I, I, I just couldn't, I can't. It's way too much to even think about. Because then on top of that, what we know actually happened in Jeepers Creepers 3. Why did the witch then also give him all these powers, all these different things? He didn't ask for powers. He just asked for immortality. So couldn't the witch have turned him into a monster without giving him all these powers? As we know, he had like these powers to uh, make his weapons come to his hand, make the truck move by telekinesis, it seemed like, or something like that. Uh, I, I don't understand that and I'm glad we did not find out that there's a witch involved because you're shifting the focus away from the creeper being our antagonist to now we have a bigger threat. There is a witch in the Poho County area who lets monsters free every 20, every 23 years. The only interesting thing I feel that will come out of this is that we find out that this witch isn't just letting the creeper out, she's letting other monsters out and there's other monsters like the creeper these of course would be other men who have wronged this witch who have done wrongdoing to her or tried to get a pull a fast one on her the same way that 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 this doctor did that became the creeper and she's turned all of these men into monsters and she's made them immortal and for some strange reason they all come out of uh, at different times of the year that's that's the only interesting thing i can see come out of that we find out that we have a series of monsters in the poho county area that are all tied to this witch but again they have to raise the question of what is the witch's ultimate end game here why does she do this besides of course just being conned out of money why something this extreme and what is the purpose of pulling his strings every 23 years and letting him free for 23 days um we need you're gonna have to have a backstory in regards to what happened with this witch in Poho County? Does she have some type of gripe with the individuals who live there since she's letting this thing run rampant and kill them? And how is she in this area and no one knows about her? What is it What is it that she's doing that's keeping her uh, like secluded from the rest of the people of Poho County? Not even Poho County, just the East Nine in general. We know East Nine runs quite a few different counties. Uh, Bannon County, Pertwilla County, Polo County, Kinsel County. There are several different counties in this fictional world of Jeepers Creepers. Uh, I, I, I'm glad we didn't get that witch thing. I'm glad we didn't find out that a witch was pulling the creeper strings. Because another thing that this raises the question of, 
uh, or at least not raises questions, but it, it gives confirmation to the fact of why the creeper is so good with stitching people's bodies back together because he was a doctor in, in his human life. Um, and it would, of course, answer the question that the creeper was human once before. But that backstory and us finding out that a witch is pulling his strings, I don't see a lot of fans, myself included, being satisfied with that. And of course, we know these leaks ultimately turned out to be false. Uh, but I, I bet a lot of us would argue that we would rather rather would have had something like this versus what we got in Jeepers Creepers 3. They would have been bad either way, but I feel like the one we actually got is worse than this. It's just the simple fact of the matter. I still would not have been satisfied with this either. Finding out that a witch is controlling the creeper. No, absolutely not. Uh, I'm not I'm not one for stuff like that. Having us spend so much time with this character only to find out that he's a puppet. Now, if it had been something where we had actually gotten Jeepers Creepers 1, 2, and 3 in this in consecutive back-to-back -back consecutive years, like was planned when Jeepers Creepers 3 was rumored to be coming out in the year 2006, then maybe. But not after years of us having to wait for a third film and this and then us theorizing all these things about the creeper being this this bad bad big monster who's in charge and in control and he's the one calling the shots only to find out that he has to take orders from a witch that is responsible for the way that he is uh, a witch who is controlling him the only way and then also these these leaks that of course were fake and they talked about how the witch the only way to kill the creeper was to kill the witch that's why you can't kill the creeper that's why the creeper is immortal if the witch is still alive the creeper is going to remain alive here's my thing what is the what again what is the witch's whole point of doing this with him like this why is she controlling him in this manner why 23 years why 23 days what is the significance there and what is her issue with the poho county residents and how is it that this witch has who knows what other damage she's done in the area what is it that this witch is doing that's keep that's kept her hidden from the residents or is she just living amongst them and nobody knows that she's a witch that could be possible uh introducing witchcraft in, in honest in my honest opinion in this franchise wouldn't be something i could would be too um unacceptable of i just wouldn't be acceptable of us finding out that a witch is controlling the creeper we already have psychics in it we already have uh the creeper with telekinesis and all these other things introducing witchcraft i don't think would be too far out there it's just a simple fact of the matter that that's it's just something that you're attributing it to us now having to put the creeper as like a foot soldier to an even bigger threat with this witch and i don't i'm not a fan of that i'm glad that this was not the case uh us finding out the, that the creeper was a doctor in human life that's still something that could be factored into an origin story us finding out that the creeper was once a doctor uh because another thing that these leaks talked about was how we would have flashbacks to the early 1400s that of course did not happen nothing that i'm going over happened in the third film i'm just talking about old leaks and the fact that I'm glad this did not happen and the potential chance of the creeper being controlled by a witch is just flat out ridiculous to me. Not to say that it couldn't happen. It's just that if it did happen, I would find it to be highly ridiculous and I wouldn't be a big fan of it. Um, let me know what you guys think about all this uh, down in the comment section below. Of course, I I'm glad it, I'm glad that we did not get this. I'm glad that the creeper is his origins were not actually revealed to something like this in the third movie. I feel like a lot of us would argue that we would have rather have gotten something versus just a bunch of people with their eyes rolling back and then saying that it's ancient or saying stuff we already knew. I feel like that bothered a lot of people more more so than us having to find out that a witch was involved or something like that. Because Jeepers Creepers 3, for the longest time, we were told we would find out some details about the Creepers' origins. And then we were still told that with this, with this prequel that we got. And then we get the prequel. We don't find out anything. We just get the creeper at the end of the movie finding a sign where they left him saying they know what he is. And then it lets out some belching cry as if it's some child throwing the tantrum, which is what that's one of the worst scenes in the series. Mind you, that scene at the end of Jeepers Creepers 3 where he is yelling out in defeat like that. I think that's one of the worst scenes and the worst characterizations we've seen of the creeper for him to be in such a weakened state like that. Uh, that's the weakest we've seen him and that's the most inferior he's looked uh that's even weaker than us having see have having to see him defeated by the taggart uh jack taggart jack taggart had a gripe to pick with the creeper and at least it was done in a way that wasn't comical uh seeing some seeing something dominant like the creeper get defeated like in a manner that we saw in jeepers creepers 2 nobody really had an issue with that because it wasn't done in a comical way for us to see the creeper on his hands and knees looking so scared of a little sign that he got from a bunch of residents in uh, Bannon County, or not even Bannon County, uh, uh, 
I believe it's in Petrula County, uh, or Wheaton, Wheaton Valley, actually. It's in Wheaton Valley. A bunch of residents in Wheaton Valley. He's on his hands and knees at the end with so much shock in his eyes. And then he's he lets out a scream because he's so disappointed they know what he is. Like, cry me a river. Like, that's the worst characterization we've seen of him. Um, I'm glad we did not get the witch in Jeepers Creepers 3. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Did you know about these leaks prior to me making this video? Have you come across them and I just refreshed your memory with this? Uh, if you haven't already, again, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.